Hello, everyone. Welcome to Squad Squabble, where we at Design Pickle and Snack Nation are virtually team building and competing against one another to see how well we truly know our colleagues in today's virtual environment. I'm your host, Professor Pickle, also known as Alec, and today we're going to be playing a game of Squad Squabble, where the rules are as follows. We have four rounds, and each round consists of a question that we've surveyed hundreds of peers of your colleagues at Design Pickle and Snack Nation, and we have their top answers on the board. We start out by going head to head, one person from each company, and if you can guess the top answer in the initial question, then you get to decide if your team wants to play or if your team wants to pass and let the other company decide if they can get all of the answers on the board. The goal is to get the most points at the end of four rounds, and it's pretty much as simple as that. So, are we ready to begin? Oh, yeah. Yep. Ready, Alec. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're ready. All Definitely right, so ready. our first two contestants from Design Pickle and Snack Nation, please come up to the podium for round one. <laughs> round one, to buzz in, you need to yell, Yahtzee, game on. That's verbatim, Yahtzee, game on. So round one, the question that we asked your colleagues at Design Pick on Snack Nation is, name something you do multiple times per Yahtzee, day. Yahtzee, game on. Andy, that was a <laughs> faster buzz in. What is something you do multiple times a day? Blink. Is blink on the board? Blink is not oh. Nobody blinks oh, no. multiple times a day. I don't blink. This whole call, you won't see it happen. <laughs> My Yahtzee, Ryan. game on. All right, All right Ryan. What's Drink coffee. Show me coffee. No. Coffee nice. is on the board. Congratulations, Design Pickle. Design Pickle, Ryan, would you like to play this round? Or do you want to pass to Snack Nation? I feel like the answer is always play, so we're going to play, yeah, Alan. All right, let's go play. to Design Pickles board, and let's go meet the team. Dang it. <laughs> 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 All right, Ryan Anderson, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Alec. How's your day going so far? Uh, amazing. It, it's beautiful out. It's like 60 degrees. Awesome. What's your favorite, like, kind of grass? Like... <laughs> 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 Kentucky blue. Kentucky blue is not one of my favorites. I just like plain old grass, you know, like yeah. stuff that's on the lawn. Anyways, it was good meeting you and getting to know a little more about you. So we have seven more answers on the board, again, that we've surveyed your colleagues at Design Pickle and Snack Nation about something that they do multiple times per day. So go ahead and guess again. All right, I'm going to say eat. Show me eating. Congratulations, yeah. you got the number one answer. And now we're going over to your teammate, Michaela. Nice to meet you, Michaela. Nice to meet you. Happy to be here. <laughs> awesome. Well, now it's to you. What is something that you okay. do multiple times per day? Okay, since this is our colleagues, I'm going to say send a Slack message. Show me slacking. Congratulations, also made the board. And now... Back to you, Ryan, multiple times per day. I mean, I'm going to say brushing my teeth. I, I brush them twice a day, so that's multiple. Above average of teeth brushing. Brushing your teeth did make the board, and now we're bouncing back to Michaela. Four more to go. We're halfway there. Okay, I can't get this one out of my head, so I'm hoping it's up here, but use the bathroom. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> The number oh, there we go. Congratulations, people do be peeing. We got mm -hmm. three more answers. Ryan, back to you. Uh, I'm gonna say exercise. Is exercise on the board? Mm -hmm. All right, Design Pickle, we got our first strike. You get three strikes, and then if we get three, Snack Nation has the chance to steal. So back to Michaela, we have three more chances. All right, how about like go outside? Show me breathing outdoor air. <laughs> Taking a walk. All right, Ryan, down to the final two. We're getting down to it. 
I, I would have thought that was exercise, but that's all right. Um, oh, true. <laughs> I'm going to say I play with my dog multiple times a day. Mm -hmm. Show me pet. Petting. All right. Playing with your dog did not make the board. This is the danger zone design pickle. Yeah. Michaela? Okay, I just have to go, go with like an answer. optimistic answer. Okay. Like Let's laugh or smile, something like that. <laughs> Show me smile. <laughs> you knew it wouldn't be up there. <laughs> oh, so close. So now we're going to Snack Nation coming over to you. All right, Snack Nation, there's 57 points on the board. You have one shot to make the board, and we're going to go to Joanna. What is Ooh. something that you do multiple times a day? Um, Four, three. Talk to a friend two. or coworker. Show me Ooh. talking to a friend or a coworker. Checking or using yes. their phone. Yes. Okay. All right, Snack Nation. The points are all yours. Those 64 points. Congratulations. They're in your bank. But now let's see what the number eight answer that we did not get multiple times per day. It, it Cry. <laughs> I would have never guessed that. <laughs> it's 2020. People cry, cry Multiple constantly. times a day. <laughs> All right. So round one, Snack Nation, you are in the lead. And let's take this time to get to know our contestants a little bit more. I'll start with Michaela just because that's who I can see first. Michaela, what do you do at Design Pickle? I'm a project manager here at Design Pickle. And tell me about something that you've done at Design Pickle that you've never done at any other company um things like this fun game shows and lots of filming <laughs> we do love game shows and filming at yeah. design pickle yes. and ryan anderson tell me a little bit about what you do at design pickle uh well we build the product so i i'm the lead engineer and i head up the team that uh builds the website so people can make requests nice what's your favorite code <laughs> um <laughs> my favorite code um the Da Vinci Code. It's a good code. And now we're moving on to Snack Nation. Joanna, tell me a little bit about what you do at Snack Nation. Yeah, um, so I manage our Facebook groups and I'm also uh, running our newly delivered newsletter that's coming out in a couple weeks uh, called The Assist. So that's kind of what I work on there. Nice. I love to hear it. And then Andy, tell me a little bit about what you do over there at Snack Nation. As little as possible, Alec. <laughs> I love that. I'm the, I'm the CMO and co-founder. So uh, Snack Nation, we are healthy snack delivery for offices and homes. And we also are employee recognition made simple. That's beautiful. Well, I'm so glad to get to have known all of you. I feel so bonded. And now we're ready for round two. So Michaela and Joanna, you're coming up to the podium. And to ring in, what I need you to do to do is go. Ah! First person to do that. Round two question. Here we go. Name something you would not want in your ah! food. Joanna, <laughs> I saw that ringing in coming first. So what is something you won't want in your food? Hair. Is hair on the board? Hair is the number one answer. Congratulations. Joanna, does Snack Nation want to play or pass? Andy? <laughs> Make the call. Go for it. All right. I, yeah, let's play. All right. Snack Nation's playing. Let's go meet them over there. All right. <laughs> Snack Nation, Joanna, nice to meet you. <laughs> Tell me a little bit. What's your favorite Facebook algorithm? Um, the one where I could hide people's posts. <laughs> oh, I love that. Hiding people's posts. All right. So there are seven more answers left on the board of things that people just don't want in their food. Spit or saliva. Show me <laughs> bodily fluid. <laughs> bodily wow. fluid, saliva didn't make the list. Now over to you, Andy. Something that people don't want in their food dirt or rocks is rocks on the list <laughs> dirt did make the list people don't want to be eating dirt now back to you joanna we have this is a tough one chances. alec yeah why don't you tell me to skip this um 
Okay. Uh, maybe something that they didn't order. Show me something not on the menu. First wrong answer with that one, but it's okay. We still have five chances to get the right answer, but you got two more chances before Design Pickle gets to steal. Andy, going back to you. Bones. You say phones? Bones. Oh, I was like, phone is specific, but show me bones also. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> bones did not make the list. Remember that your colleagues at Design parts. Pickle and Snack Nation, oh. Yeah, so Bones is body parts, too. But oh, that's, these answers no, are coming right. with your colleagues. So back to you, Joanna. Um, I'm going to go with, like, a fly or, like, a bug. Oh, yeah. That's a good Show one. Show me bugs. Good job. Bugs did make the list. We got our top three answers. We got four more to go. Andy, we're going back to you. I'm going to do uh, anything that is uh, raw. Show me raw meat. <laughs> Man. Raw did not make the list. Second strike. So back to you, Joanna. We're in the danger zone. Everything Shoot. is on your shoulders. Great. Thanks for the, the pressure, Alec. Um, the weight of the world <laughs> depends on this. Great. Um, like nails does that count as a body part like toenails <laughs> i think it would count yeah, as a body, body part. part but like nails nails are, are like things that i wouldn't personally right. want in my food true so like hardware you're saying i like uh-huh <laughs> <Don't>... okay <laughs> sure i guess like nails like show me tools. Like, tools. Like, like metal tools? fragments tools yeah like fragments. show me fragments of metal <laughs> 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 oh, that wink was to throw you off. Nails did not make the list. Shoot. So now we're going over to Design Pickle for the steal. Michaela, this is in your court now. There's four chances to get it right to get all the points that are on the board. Design Pickle currently has no points. We need to pull through. What is something that you would not want in your food? <sighs> this is a hard one. I, I think I'm going to say poison. Because I definitely would not want poison or like, like salmonella. Show me the poison from the witches. All right. Oh. Did make the list. Congratulations, <laughs> Michaela. The points are all design pickles. And now let's see what your colleagues said that didn't get answered. Num starting with number six. Spice. Yeah. Spicy ah. food. Okay. Number five. Specific vegetables. Mm. Or number that. four. Mold. Mm. Yeah. No one mold. wants to be eating moldy food. I'm well, glass, but I wouldn't mm. want to eat glass. Maybe you yeah, just no. don't talk about eating glass enough with your colleagues for them to have thought probably, about it. Probably. <laughs> but all of this food talk, it's made me hungry, y'all. And I think it's time for a snack break. And I'm really excited to eat these crunchy Karoot crisps cabbage chips that are flavored like dill pickles. It's going to be like a little bit of cannibalism. But I suggest anyone who has a Snack Nation snack to get them out right now. Take a little bit of something just to refuel your body. Get mine open. Let me get a Snack Nation snack here. A Stroop waffle. Delicious. These Snack Nation Same. snacks, they're just so good because so I don't know, Andy, if you as the co-founder know much about Snack Nation. But they're the employee gift and care platform. They help you delight your team wherever they're working today. And you can send custom curated boxes of delicious snacks, premium gifts, and more straight to your employees. So that's a little bit about what Snack Nation does. Couldn't have said it any, any better myself. Mm, delicious. Alec, I've got this Simply Wholesome Oatmeal Bar. Amazing. Does it feel wholesome eating it? It's so wholesome. Does it feel simply? It is so simple. It's could not be described better. What about Odie? Well, now that we are all replenished and fueled up, we are ready for round three. And we're starting with Ryan and Andy. Come back up to the podium. For round three to ring in, you need to yell the name of your grandma. Here we go. 
Name something a cowboy would hate to have happen. Oma! Andy, you're rung in first with Oma. Eight answers on the board. What's something a cowboy would hate to have happen to them? Fall off his horse. Is falling off your horse on the list? It is on the list. That's number six answer. So, Ryan, you have a chance to steal. All right. I'm going to say ha have his horse step on him. Is stepped on by horse on the list. Oh. oh, unfortunately, that is not on the list. So, Andy with Snack Nation, do you want to play or do you want to pass? We're going to play. All right, <laughs> Snack Nation is playing. Let's go. <laughs> Joke's on you. I would have passed anyway. I, I would have passed too. <laughs> All right. Andy, nice to meet you. So, tell me a little bit about your journey at Snack Nation. Actually, what's your favorite snack? Man, changes every month because we, we have uh, all these new curated snacks every single month that um, I, got, I got a new favorite every month. But today's favorite was the Stroopwafel. What's your least Delicious. favorite snack? Um, anything that um, tastes like dust or cardboard. I mean, cardboard does kind of taste good to some people. Yes. That's just my opinion. But, but you would never find anything that tastes like that in a Snack Nation box because we have a very thorough taste testing process. And we all just are replenished. Like, I feel like a brand new person, and I can attest to that statement after these pickle chips. But we have seven more answers on the board, Andy, of something that a cowboy would hate to have happen. Get shot. Is getting shot on the board. <laughs> getting shot and dying, our number three answer. Joanna, to you. Oh, geez. Um... <laughs> Uh, losing their horse? Is losing your horse on the list? <laughs> losing your horse or your okay. horse dying is our number one answer. And just like that, we have five answers left. Andy, back to you. Um, encountering or fighting Indians? Show me fighting Indians. <laughs> mm, that what? did not make the list. So we still have five on the board. Back to you, Joanna. Um, let's see. Bro oh, um, oh. Losing, losing their hat, their cowboy hat. Is <laughs> your cowboy hat flying away? Losing your <laughs> Number two answer. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank Halfway you. there. We're chugging along. <laughs> Andy, we're going back to you. Something a cowboy would hate to have happen. Um, something with drinking. Getting too drunk. Getting too drunk on the list. <laughs> Did not make the list. We're in the danger zone again, Joanna. Here we are again. We have um, what are you four chances to get it right. But no um, one chance to get it wrong. Oh, um, something with their spurs, breaking their spur, like a spur on their foot. <laughs> Show me your spur breaking. <laughs> no. All right. That was our third strike. So we're going over to our friends at Design Pickle <clears throat> and back to Ryan. All right, Alec. I've you. got this one. All right. You ready for, for this? Points. I'm ready. Being like Woody and losing their boot. Oh. Show me a snake in your boot wow. or losing your boot. Congratulations, you no, got I... the number, number four answer with a snake or an object being in your boot. Congratulations, Design Pickle. You took the lead with that one. The 45 points on the table are yours. And now let's see the three answers that we didn't guess, starting with number eight. This game is so rigged. <laughs> Having everyone become a vegetarian. What? What? Interesting. Lasso issues. Oh, I was going to say something about Lasso. Running out of bullets. A good one, too. Shoot. All right, so that concludes round three. We're almost there, but let's take the time to get to know our contestants a little bit more as well. Michaela, mm -hmm. what's your favorite hymn? Favorite hymn? Mm-hmm. I don't, I honestly don't know if I have one. 
I ask this question not really knowing what a hymn is, but yeah, I, that's that's why I'm not sure I have one. Is it like a little jingle? Like it's like a little poem, right? It's like a hymn. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you had asked me the definition of a hymn, I would just say it's a song, but not really know what an example would be. Okay. If Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is technically a hymn, then I'll go with that one. All right, there you have it, everyone. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is Michaela Williams' favorite hymn. <laughs> now, if it is one. <laughs> now, Ryan, to you, what's your least favorite holiday that you celebrate? Uh, it's, uh, hmm. I think Halloween. You know, I, I've never been a big fan of, of masking this face. <laughs> Why would you want to? Why would you? <laughs> you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't ever mask it. <laughs> Thank you. And Joanna, um, learning a little bit more about you. If you could block one celebrity from your life, because I know you have a lot that like try to be friends with you, who would it be? All the time. All the time. Um, ooh, I don't know. Would like, would Weinstein count? <laughs> like Amy Weinstein? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was thinking Amy Winehouse. <laughs> the bad one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't call him a celebrity, but He's I mean, mean. <laughs> good person to block. It's a good person to block. Yeah. <laughs> and Andy, who's your favorite other Andy? Man, uh, definitely the dude from Toy Story. Andy the Toy Story and Andy yeah. McKenson. Am I saying your last name, Mike? McKenson? Uh, McKenson, Mackinson, Mackinson. Mc <laughs> McDonald, McKenzie, whatever. That's like the more phonetically normal way for me to have said that. So, beautiful. We're going into Q, Q4, round four. Our final question. Michaela and Joanna, you're coming up to the podium. And to ring in, what I want you to do is whisper the name of a ghost. So round four's question is, Name an unforgivable office taboo. Joanna. Joanna, I heard you first. Eight questions. Eight answers on the board. Joanna, name an unforgivable office taboo. Um, office um, Five, Oh, uh, four, eating, eating something that smells terrible around your coworkers. Show me smelly food. <laughs> Oh. What? What? Smelly food? <laughs> really? Did you make the list? Honestly, I thought it said uh, a taboo, like a tattoo. Oh. <laughs> Ta taboo. Tattoo taboo. <laughs> and I was going to go with like, you know. Henna. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Michaela. That whole Chance reading thing. To steal. <laughs> um, An unforgivable office taboo. What about like taking the last of the coffee and not making any more? Mm. Good one. Did using all the coffee make the list? All right, we got our number five answer. Congratulations, Design Pickle. Do you want to play or do you want to pass a snack nation? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, what do you want to do? I don't know. I, uh, should, we, should we try to play? <sighs> of course. <laughs> this we, is the final round. Have, You're in the lead. I feel like we've only gotten points when we don't play. <laughs> it's true, but this one's really tough. True. Maybe Your play decision. this one. I don't know. It's, it's up right, to you. We'll play it. We'll play it. Let's just All play. right. Design Pickles playing. Let's go. All right. Going back to you, Michaela. Hello. Okay. Hello. <laughs> All right. We have seven answers left on the board. Office taboos. Okay. My next guess would be eating someone else's food. Show me eating someone else's food. <laughs> Stealing others' food, our number three answer. There's a funny story about that happening at Design Pickle. I'll tell you one day. But back okay. to Ryan, we have six um, more answers. I think talking too loudly. Show me being noisy. Being okay. loud, the number one office taboo. And now back to Michaela. This is hard. Um, trying to think of another one. Remember what about a design pickle and snack nation people? Yeah. Being super late to a meeting. Being late to meetings. Mm. 
Ah, did not make the list. One. We got our first strike. Don't worry, Ryan. I'm sure you have a great answer coming up. All right. So I'm hoping that people were thinking pandemic, Zoom. Oh. Um, I'm going to say taking your computer into the bathroom during a Zoom meeting. Show me going into the bathroom with your computer during a Zoom meeting. <laughs> Indecent exposure. <laughs> oh, sure. yeah. It did make I'll the list. It. I mean, indecent exposure, it's a little more than just like a taboo, but yeah. it made the list nonetheless. So good on you for, for knowing your, your, your colleagues. And then oh back to Michaela. We're halfway okay. through. Four answers left. Continuing with the Zoom trends, what about like not muting yourself during a meeting? Do we have not muting yourself on the list? Ah, oh, second strike. Here we are. This All right. Is, this is a, a big Yeah, we don't know if right. we're talking about Zooms or in office right now, do we? True. Uh, yeah. so, big. It's up in the air. Yeah, look, I feel like there's a lot going around food here. And mm -hmm. I feel like there's got to be something with either chewing too loudly or like eating during a, a, a meeting. All I right. Those are two different things. Is chewing loudly, eating during a meeting, one of the four left. <laughs> oh. Design Pickle, we have got our third strike. So now we're going to our friends at Snack Nation to see if they are ready to steal the points. So we're gonna go with Joanna. You have four okay. chances to get this right okay. for all of the points on the board. Um, this could be a game winning decision. I'm gonna go with gossiping about your coworkers or like talking badly about coworkers? <laughs> Did gossip make the list? Aww. Gossip, unfortunately, did not make the list. Wow. So these points are design pickles. Don't Congratulations, design pickle. Those 29 points you earned are yours. You've won the game. But before we wrap things up, let's this game is the rigged. <laughs> Number seven, <laughs> playing bad oh, music. No. Oh. I guess that. Number six is flatulation. <laughs> Unforgivable. <laughs> number four, <laughs> leaving a mess. Mm -hmm. And then the number two answer that nobody got was <laughs> microwaving fish. <laughs> What? Is that that kind of goes. How but did for, yeah, with like bad, that. but with, isn't that like bad smells in the office? Come on. I think. Yeah. This game is rigged. Yeah, not rigged. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Eleven people said microwaving fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Evan, for playing. Congratulations, Design Pickle. Those points are all yours. You have won. All right. Well, thank you everyone for watching. And we absolutely want you to comment below. Let us know how your teams have been engaging completely virtually. We want to hear in the comments. Us at Design Pickle and Snack Nation, we're doing things all the time to increase, increase our virtual connection with each other. So we really want to hear your tips. And Everyone check out the links in our bios for the Snack Nation's blog on their virtual team building and for the Design Pickle and Snack Nation guide to creating your own squad squabble game if you want to do one of your own. We are all going to die happy knowing squad squabble <laughs> was a smashing success and I'm not supposed to be reading this. That's just internal notes. But thank you all for playing. <laughs> I appreciate you all. Congratulations, Design Pickle. And thank you all. You have a blessed day not <laughs> just yeah blessed day that's it